Well, hey everyone, Pastor Danny here. As we continue to pray and prepare for our annual legacy offering coming up on December 8th, I want to share with you how your generosity has been making a difference right here in our city and some of the things that we're dreaming about in the days ahead. In the minds of many here in Spokane, the name of our church is synonymous with local outreach and serving the community. I love this. I can't tell you how many people have come to Sun City in search of a church that's more community-focused and mission-minded, oftentimes at the referral of other pastors in our city. This is something I'm so proud of because I believe it aligns with God's heart for our community. God wants His church to consider the poor and the broken in our midst. His heart beats for those in our community that are in need, wandering, hopeless, and hurting. And from the very beginning of our church, we've invested financially and practically through serving those that God loves so much. Well, this year, we've been able to see the love of God extended in so many practical ways. We're currently supporting 12 different ministry partners in our city that are making a difference in all types of ways. These partners regularly minister to men, women, and children in crisis across the city. Our impact in local public schools continues to grow. Whether it's event support, academic support, or just meeting practical needs with backpacks or snow boots, we want to be a resource to our local schools so they can count on it. The mentoring program at McDonald Elementary continues to make a big impact in the lives of kids that need a positive influence in their lives. As always, Serve Day was one of the big highlights of the year. With over 375 people participating, we spread out across the city and completed 28 acts of kindness and service projects in our community. We hosted a blood drive, prepared baskets for widows, hosted a free yard sale, and packed over 39,000 meals to send to Uganda and feed the hungry. One of the most significant outreach projects that we want to celebrate with you is the opening of our first responders care room. This is a room that is open 24 seven right here in our facility for the police department, fire department, and EMTs in our community to utilize when they're on break or need to fill out paperwork or just need a secure place to meet. Especially for those working through the night, there's not really a safe, clean environment for those servants to go on break and rest. We're celebrating with you the opening of this room as a way to tell these civil servants that we love them and that we're so grateful for how they serve and protect our community day in and day out. Now the response from the first responder community has been very warm and led to our first partnership outreach with the police department on Halloween this year when we hosted the Spokane Valley Police Department Trunk or Treat. Now when I think about the future of impacting our city, I am very excited. Now we wanna keep focused on the ministries that we're currently serving and take our support to new levels. We wanna bring an upgrade to our ministry to local schools and see how we can better support them across our city. And we'll be hosting Serve Day once again and planning even more service projects. But there are a few new things that we're dreaming about. Last year, the city of Spokane Valley asked us to consider stepping in and helping those that are unable to handle snow removals at their residencies. Now we're in conversations about building an outreach team of snow angels that can serve those in our community that can't clear out the snow and are just struggling to stay safe during the winter. We're also dreaming about the launch of a child development center right here at Sun City Church. Now we've recognized for several years that there's a huge need in our community for a safe and virtuous child care center. And we've got a facility that could support something like this. Now it would take a significant investment to prepare for, but the possibilities of reaching and ministering to families in Spokane who are looking for Christian child development and care are very exciting. Now, I want to be clear, we are not announcing anything about this yet. It's something that we're dreaming about and feel led to pursue in the days ahead. Now, as always, we'll move at the speed of your generosity. As we give generously in the upcoming legacy offering, it goes to make a huge difference around the world and right here in our city. Thank you for praying, thank you for preparing, and thank you for responding to what God is wanting to bring right here to our city. The future is bright for Spokane, and I'm honored to be a part of it with all of you. As always, you can give today online, through the app, or by texting the number that you see on the screen. God bless you.